What's up, everybody? It is today, and uh, I'm about to uh, shoot the video for the uh, Savage Yard scores of the day, but that's not the intention of this video. Basically, I would like to show you the follow-up for the oil pressure situation I was having with the 01 Mustang GT here, which was basically the one little thing that Obviously, I knew I had oil pressure, but the gauge wasn't working, and it was kind of getting on my nerves. And I finally figured out the culprit of the situation, so I thought I would share it with you in case you may be having the same situation. And it seems like it's probably pretty common. Probably the, the most common thing next to the switch itself being bad, which, uh, as we may or may not know, it's not a fully functional gauge. It's basically just a switch that sends the gauge into a, a medium state and says, you have oil pressure, you're good. So I'm going to bring you over here and I'll show you what the actual situation was. And um, I changed the fuel pressure switch. That's the first thing you should check in all cases. They can get gunked up. There's just a spring in there. But the second thing you should check is the wire that goes from the sensor up to the ECM or PCM or ECU or whatever someone may call it. I have a feeling that a pretty common problem, if you look down here, and I'm hopefully I can show it good, we'll see. You can see this connector with the blue silicone there, that is the seal. Basically this connector is the wire that comes off of the pressure sending unit downstairs by the oil filter. So it basically just is in the wire loom, it comes up from down there, and it comes out right here, and it goes into this connector which is just a one pin connector. And it was connected right here on the side of the battery tray, which it is not connected to anymore because I broke the clip on it, which I have a new one for and I just haven't put it back on yet. But I imagine this is a pretty common problem if you've replaced your pressure switch and it's still not working. This wire may be bad and my problem was when my switch and this connector was in position over here on the battery tray like it used to be like this there was this set of wires right here let's see if i can move it around this set of wires right here was sitting right on the top of this wire where it goes into the connector and it had it bent over 90 degrees and had worn through it and it was an obvious break in the connection so you can kind of see that I have some shrink wrap on there I basically pulled uh, pulled this blue silicone out with a seal pick and I soldered uh, I soldered the wire re-spliced it and uh, shrink wrapped it and then put it all back together and now I'm going to get a new clip and put it on there. Maybe. I don't want the same thing to happen. But if, if this wire here, which is the one that routes over the top by your power steering and uh, heads, heads over this way to your alternator, that's the one that was bearing down right on top of my connector. And that's what ruined this connection. And that's what it was. As soon as I took this apart, I could tell, not even before I took it apart, I basically found, after looking around a little bit, that that's what it was. I saw that there was green, and the wire was completely bent over. And once I fixed that, bang, oil pressure gauge fixed. So, basically I just wanted to make a quick little video and show you that. Uh, I mean, it could be obviously plenty of other areas where the wire could go bad, but for the most part it's insulated and it's protected by that wire loom. That would be if you've replaced the pressure sensor or the switch 
and it's still not working for you, that would probably be the next best place to look is right there at that one wire connector where that wire is probably sitting right on top of it like it was on mine. I imagine it's pretty common. And you know, that's a place where people change the battery a lot and stuff like that for the most part. And, and if you didn't look at my other videos, I've changed the gauge cluster and I thought maybe the gauge itself was bad. That wasn't the situation. I don't know how common that is and it's probably not common. But something like that, and it looked pretty common. That just look right there. It's really easy to see just right here where your battery's at. Just look right over here. It's right on the edge bottom of the battery tray. This one wire connector. And uh, maybe that'll be what it is. I hope that helps you out. And uh, it was a little hard to hunt down, but not too bad. And I'm glad I was able to find it because it was really bothering me that the oil pressure gauge didn't work, even though I knew I had oil pressure. So, look for it. See if that's what it is. I hope it is. I hope that helps. Till next time, I'll see you then.